Hello students, today we are going to discuss chapter 10, the 6 foolish fishermen. We have already finished half of the lesson and today we shall continue with the chapter. So, the 6 foolish fishermen when were brothers. They went to the river and picked good spot to fish. One fished from their log, one fished from a boat, one fished from the bridge and the other one fished from the from a rock. And the other one fished from a raft and the other one fished from the bank of the river. We have seen oh, six of them, they have taken different places uh, to fish. When it was time to go home, the brothers became little worried. Why they became little worried? Because they did not find the sixth one. Okay. But the, when it was time to go home, the brothers became little worried. Each foolish fisherman fearing that his brother had fallen in the stream. Counted to see that there were still uh, six. And each foolish fisherman forgot to include himself. All the brothers went back to the shore trying to see the body of the drowned brother. So what they were thinking? They thought that the, uh, whenever they were counting, they were not counting um, themselves once and they were counting the other one. Okay? And they were, they were counting only the uh, five brothers. So they thought that the one was already drowned in the water. So they were feeling very upset. So we have finished here. At the page number 58. You can also look at the page. I see one brother on the bridge. That's one. And another on the rock. That's two. And the other on the bank. That is three. And the another in the boat. That is four. And the another on the raft. That is five. Five in all. Oh unhappy day. So whenever they, they were counting, they got only the uh, five, five of them. Why did ever come here? Why did we ever come here? Who thought this? The fishermen thought. Why did we come here? We have, we have um, not seen the last one, the sixth one. For one of us to be drowned. Why did we come here? For one of us to be drowned. Then the fourth Brother counted and the fifth and the sixth. Each one counted only five brothers because each forgot to include himself. Because each of them were counting and they were not including including himself. That is why they got only the five. Okay. All the brothers went back to the shore and rushed sadly up and down a river's edge trying to see the body of their poor drowned brother. So they were thin, thinking that the one has already drowned in the water. So they searched everywhere up and down. They moved up and down. Searched everywhere. Where is the sixth one? We are not seeing the sixth one. So they felt very sad. They were thinking, telling that uh, why did we come here for one of us to be drowned? Very unlucky day. They said themselves. All the brothers went back to the shore and rushed sadly up and down to the river edge trying to see the body of their poor drowned brother. Then along came a boy who had also been fishing but who had not caught a single fish. So with them the, the other side of the river there was also one another boy who was fishing. So he did not get he did not catch any fish. So he was also watching what is happening between them. Then what is the matter? He asked. You seem to have plenty of fish. Why do you all look so sad? Who asked this? The boy, one who was fishing. He also, he did not catch any fish. But uh, he asked, what is the matter? To the foolish brothers, he asked, what is the matter? What happened? Why do you look so worried and tense? What happened? You seem to have a plenty of fish. You got plenty of fish. Then what is the problem? Why are you crying and weeping and moving around looking for something? What happened? Who asked this? The boy. Because six of us came here to fish. And now 
there are only five of us left one of our dear brother has been drowned he they told the matter why they were crying one of our dear brother has been drowned because they are not counting him the one self and uh, they thought that uh, one of the one of the among them one of them might have been drowned in the water the boy looked puzzled he was so surprised what do you mean only five left how do you figure figure that so who asked this the boy he could count the six of them no so by looking at them he was so puzzled what do you mean only five left how do you figure that look i'll show you said the eldest brother and he pointed to his brothers so the eldest brother told you wait here i will show you how i have counted 1 2 3 4 5 6 of came here and now only five are going back sad is the day so he told that he counted all the others but he did not count himself he said it is only five and he told that it's very sad one of us is missing the boy tend to hide his smile and then he tend back i think i can help you find your lost brother he said when when i excuse your hand i want you to count as he had he would he he could twist and the ha the hand of each of the brother in return one held first and he rubbed his aching hand okay so he told when i excuse your hand you will say one so he the other one other brother started to count and the two cried a second brother and he jumped up and down because of the hard excuse he was excusing very hard so uh, their hand was paining because of the pain they were ailing and crying so the one cried the second also cried three shouted the third brother four shrieked the fourth brother five screamed the fifth brother six roared the sixth brother six the brothers looked at each other delight when the boy counted six they looked at each other and they were delighted they were so happy to find the sixth brother where where is the six six of them again there were six of them again they were enjoyed and slapped each other on the back so they were very happy to find the sixth one and they slapped each other and uh, uh, showed their happiness gratefully they turned to the boy here they said we insist that you take all our fish we can never thank you enough for finding our dear lost brother so what did he told what did they insisted they told that you can take all our fish what we have a uh, coat so you can take all our fish because you have you gave you find you found out our uh, dear sixth brother as the boy happily accepted their gift the sixth foolish fisherman went their merry way okay so what the finally finally what did they do the boy did not catch any fish because they were he was very happy to get the fish also and uh, the six foolish fisherman went merry merrily means very happily to their home uh, finding the sixth brother so that is the story here so you understood the story so i will i will give the summary of the story once again so that you will understand more okay the six foolish fisherman were brothers you understood no the six foolish fishermen were brothers they went to the river and picked a good spot to fish what did they do they went to the river and they picked a good spot to fish so six of them took different places where did they where did they stand and uh, fish one fish to from a log one fish to from a boat one fish to from a bridge and the other fish to from a rock one fish to from a raft and other fish to from the uh, bank of the river okay when it was time to go home the brothers became little worried each foolish fisherman fearing that his brother had fallen in the stream counted to see that there were still six and each foolish 
fisherman forgot to include himself that's the main mistake they have made they forgot each of them counted fifth uh, six of them counted but they have forgotten to include himself all the brothers went by to the shore trying to see the body of the drowned brother so they thought that one must have been drowned in the water it took a small boy to convince from that who who convinced them that they are six of them the little boy one who was fishing near the uh, shore he saw all the uh, commotion what happened okay they had not lost a brother that they were really were six of them so finally the foolish brothers thanked the little boy and he became and because he helped them to find their sixth brother so finally what happened at the end of the story the the foolish finally the foolish brothers thanked the little boy that uh, because he had helped him to find their sixth brother this is a beautiful story and i hope you have enjoyed listening the story so you can also once again go through the story and read it again understand it and uh, Mm, understand and uh, learn the word meanings okay there is not uh, any much difficult word meanings are there but the very simple meanings are there i hope you will enjoy reading the story and uh, learn the word meanings which is given here okay and also you will write the word power uh, in your copy fair copy thank you students for listening